Live from the Cold Stone Memory. Critical mistake. No bless. That's gone. No, no. no. Ricky needed that. No. Uh, yeah. gosh. Let's see. What happened to the last guys? Do you all remember? What happened to the last what? what Thorin just last? healed. Thorin just healed? Okay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Obru had dropped to one and Ricky w- mm-hmm. had, was down. But uh, Tareen healed him, so he's up to four because he chose to take half instead of, or to get rid of his point of shock that he had. Gotcha, gotcha. Excellent. <laughs> so uh, he is at four instead of nine. Head prone. I guess cycling uh, 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 down from Tareen, then if it was your turn, then we would be at Obru. Um, Who's, what, prone right now? Or you were, you were never dropped down? He never dropped. Never dropped. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm showing 22 or, or no, oh, 10. No, on you had character. one hit point. You had that one because you endurance, right? Oh, okay. Blew, blew, blew your endurance. endurance. Yeah. Yeah. The orc you thing. Blew your endurance. Because yeah, I so, was yeah, going to yeah. heal you because you were down, but since you were up, I was like, I'm going to get Ricky up too. That way mm. we could at least mm. get two swings out and hopefully knock one of these bastards out. Meanwhile, I, uh, so. Uh, yeah, it's Obra's turn, but meanwhile, right now, uh, a mysterious stranger pulls up to the front door. Our secret weapon. <laughs> where's, the, where's the front door at? The uh, not on here. Uh, yeah, he just, uh, you just, yeah, you pull up to the front door and you, you're, you're uh, put him right uh, here. Uh, uh, your handler uh, just tells you to go on in. Uh, he says, go, you go on, on, go on in, there's a lift. And then I thought, oh, okay. Just make everything easy and pretend that we met Harrison the same time we met our other characters. And then we murder uh, Harrison's character. For we were holding him in reserve us. until we called out. And then we all called out because we're done. Harrison, you uh, you open the, the door and walk into a, uh, a room with a bunch of like casks and things like that. Big uh, barrels and, and the like and some and things to like transport them. And in the center of the room, there's a uh, uh, a hole, I believe. Yeah, there's a hole in the center of the room. As, Do I jump down the hole? As you walk over and look down into the hole, you can hear the sounds of uh, some action down there. Uh, Do you jump down the hole? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and pop down the hole uh, here. Uh, Take seventy-eight falling damage. That's uh huh. Yeah, that's not very far. Uh, G. Uh, I you make a, a acrobatics check here. Where was he? I didn't see the uh ping. Here you blew. Oh okay. Can you see me? I can see you. Yes. Okay. There he is. Prepare to get shot at. <laughs> acrobatics check. That's, That's why I say, for convenience's sake, we just met him last week. He did not. I had to turn around and kill Harrison's cat. Make a new one. Yeah. Especially since he's Dr. Doom. Oh, no. He's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, I might have to fight him. Dude. Scary dude just jumps down. Yeah, it's definitely a villain. Definitely <laughs> looks like a villain. 100%. Chilling like a villain. <laughs> Uh, oh, it's like it's like Doctor Doom Rorschach. Yeah, that that's comfort. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah. definitely got to die. Very, com- very comfor- <laughs> comfortable. Yeah, very comforting presence jumps down from above. Kill it immediately. <laughs> Hitting you between the uh, the enemies in it. <laughs> Cutting off your kill escape. it immediately. <laughs> He's a good guy. That's what. Kill it. Kill it with fire. Unless it's actually down here. No, no. Uh, ice. Like start sniffing the air. <laughs> It smells like a it smells like a PC. <laughs> it's one of us. Gives up that scent. That player character scent. Yeah. Well, well so that's your uh Harrison, you can put yourself on the initiative at twenty. Uh, we'll say right before Ober and uh, uh and um and uh uh we'll say that you uh uh Use your movement uh, and your uh, use object uh, when you came to the door here, but you still have an action if you want to say something. Or... Uh, you're not you're not really sure what's going on down here. Yeah, I'm like, uh, sorry, I'm late to the party. Blackjack sent me. 
There we go. Uh, that'll be your turn, I suppose, right? Uh, Obru, here you go. Double enemy. Uh, I bonus <laughs> action disengage. <laughs> Coming for that ass, Harrison. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> uh, um, shit. Uh, this person's pretty fresh, right? If I'm right. No, they're both pretty fucked up, I believe. Gotta pick your target, boss. All right. Um, I as will... fucked up as you were, but both pretty fucked up. All right, I'm going to. This this seemed like a commander, right? Well, it seems like a, a non construct at the very least. Oh, right? okay. Non-construct. So so yeah, compared to the construct, which is uh, yeah, is that definitely that thing could have a ton of HP. I'm going to go after this one. <laughs> Uh, you fought the last one. It wasn't like too crazy. And this looks like the same one as in the last room. Same kind oh, okay. of construct. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'll go after they this both, one. Then. They both look pretty fucked up. Miss any? Um. Then, uh, healing factor thirteen. Uh, that's nice. pretty good. Nice. Um. Yeah, that puts me at 23. I'm just deciding whether or not to take a potion. No, it only puts you at, at 14. You have nine extra hit points that you don't have. Oh. That's Over here, duping hit points. <laughs> potion duping HP. Nice Twenty two. 22? Yeah, I'm at 22. Yeah, you drank a potion. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, excellent, excellent. Uh, and that'll put us uh, to Alexander then, unless you're moving. Well, he bonus, or wait, you bonus action disengaged. Oh, no, never mind. That was a no. joke, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, that, that was, was for def- me to kill Harrison. That was yeah, to oh, kill Harrison. <laughs> <laughs> kill, kill the. All right, how does the second win is a bonus there. Action. So I was like, how can you second win? But... <laughs> Yeah, second one is bonus action. Indeed. Well, Alexander, get in there and kill all these guys and save Ricky's life. No. I refuse. <laughs> Stab Ricky in the heart. <clears throat> all right. That's what I used for Ah. Sounds like. Are you all done, or...? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was just putting it out there for the record. I use speedy adventure. For the, uh... Oh, yeah, that's right. All right. I'm going to take uh, two strikes on the construct, or one if it's all it takes. Uh, first attack. Uh, uh, yeah. Let's check something. 22 to hit. Uh, that's it. For twelve points of piercing damage, yeah, slamming that thing into uh, into the armor, kind of, uh, you can you can see the uh, uh, the the arm kind of dislocating its shield arm, kind of like falling uh, uh, to the side, and like looks like it's like stopped working. Um, uh, it looks pretty messed up. Little bits of uh, lightning are kind of jumping out uh, from the, from that area. Is it still up? Yep. Still okay. mo- still standing. Okay. You made it sound like he died. So. <laughs> it's, it, he seems to be in the process, but he's still standing, though. Uh, well, 25. Yeah. Uh, you just jammed this, uh, right into the same hole you just kind of made at the shoulder joint, ramming the, uh, the, the pike in there. Lightning jumps up the, uh, the pike, and, uh, and then all of a sudden... It's, like the 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 light the the near the eyes uh kind of just explodes outwards and it uh kind of just staying there as you pull the pike out it kind of rocks and then falls down to the ground clunk dunzo dead the pike of power 24, 24 24 you're looking at it it has not yet all right 
Um. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and take a few steps back. To here. And that'll be the end of my turn. Yeah. Abandoning Ricky to his fate. <laughs> All right, right before that guy was about to go. Very nice. And now it's her turn. Um, Ricky down there with 4 HP, right? And prone. And prone. Because he that fell is... over when he got knocked unconscious, I assume. Yep, yep, that's correct. Yeah, that is uh, does make him a nice target. So... Do it. Squeeze 42 damage out of there somehow. <laughs> See uh, if you can. It could happen. Um, Especially with advantage. <laughs> yeah, nice advantage. Sneak attack. Yeah, she'll go ahead and strike you. Advantage. Huh. Miss. <laughs> Miss. Uh, 15. Just shy. Um, Not today. Perhaps today. She has more than one attack. She'll take it on you. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. So that looks like uh, a lot. So back down to zero. Thir yeah, 30. <laughs> yep. Um, Oof. I'm going to use blue for shock. Boop. And then you have one shock? Yeah. Ah, uh, she doesn't want to take the attack opportunity, so I don't want to stay there either. Yeah, she'll move back. You can't use the... Uh... This is a book's attack opportunity. Uh, you can't use the warrior abilities. Or battle master abilities as uh, uh, reactions, right? Sure, you can as long as you hit as part of an attack or whatever. Oh, I think unless it specifically says attack on your turn or some shit. Oh, um, okay, I'll take the attack of opportunity. Yep. There, there may be a grappling strike involved. No, not one. Uh, Ricky death save. Ricky makes a death save. I mean, it ain't gonna matter much because I'm just gonna heal him again. Fair enough. In that case, it's gonna be Torin. Torin spends a bonus action to heal Ricky mm -hmm. for two d six plus five. She so makes the blood mist <sighs> float over to him. She's like a Dragon Ball Z character with an aura of blood around her. Ricky has 14 hit points again. <laughs> She's like, come on, Kobo, this is getting old. And I lose one round on that concentration spell. And uh, everyone else seems to be all right. So I'm going to poke my head in there, realize that I can't see her. I'm going to ask Ober, where did she go? Overall point over to here. Oh, oh, you mean over here? <laughs> well, can, oh, can we see through this? Uh, yeah, yeah, I assume you little... point like around the corner. Mm -hmm. this is all. Oh, I mean, if yeah. I can see, oh, I'll actually, did, like... I needed to hold on. Oh, I didn't actually test her. I forgot. I to didn't test. make sure. She... I thought there was a wall here. Make sure, make sure that's okay. Yeah, she's fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, there is. There's a wall there. She just kind of hops over it. That's why I didn't check the acrobatics. But there is a oh, short man. wall here. This is like this is this is oh. this is only like maybe touch over five feet with a bunch yeah. of like pots and stuff in front of it. 
Gotcha. So that was okay. 10. Oops. Mm -hmm. But you can see absolutely 20. over it. it. This just kind of goes up. Terrain will spend her action to condense the blood cloud around her and take the dodge action. Very nice. I like her. that. I like that. I like that. Uh, all right, stranger, stranger from strange land. Oh, also, tell her about we've had apparently blackjack has brought us some backup. Let's see. Oh, that boots. <laughs> this uh, green half fork robot looks like an obru, so I'm gonna give him a bardic inspiration. Hey, how do you do that? Uh, play him a little tune. Better be damn good. Play him a little tune. Uh, yeah, what is what is a, how do you play him a tune? Yeah, whips out a uh, <clears throat> post a picture, but he whips out a nice uh, guitar axe, has a blade on it, and he's like barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, you'd kind of get that sense of it. Um, oh, wow. he's wearing a bunch of armor. We get we get some sparks here too as he does it. Yeah, and then uh, as he's playing it, uh, his fingertips. Burst into some golden flames. You get your nice little bardic inspiration token. Yeah, the sound that comes out of it is, uh, yeah, not like any normal uh, lute or a sound, I imagine, that you're used to hearing. Yeah. <laughs> then uh, that's my movement, so I am done. And it's a D6? Yeah, it's a D6. <laughs> For now. I can mm -hmm. do D6. Uh, if that's your turn, it'll be over. Okay. Yep. Um... And after that display, Tareen's like, well, when they said backup, I didn't ex expect a backup singer. <laughs> So, do some dancing too. What's jump height? It's like three plus. If you're going up. It's one plus your strength mod, isn't it? I want to say two plus strength mod, but yeah, maybe one. It might be. I thought it was three. No, it's two. I think it's two plus strength mod. Which means, uh, it could which be means three, that three. if it's two plus your strength mod, then Obru can casually jump uh, up here. Okay. About any roll. You, you are correct. Products. Three plus strength modifier. Oh, a three. Oh, even better. I didn't realize All it was right. that. Oh, it was two. As long as you get a run and start, otherwise it's half. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Well. Okay. You don't. He's have got the run and start. start right there. So yeah. He doesn't. Uh, he does not. He doesn't. Uh, it says now. 10 feet, I right? do. Now well, you do. <laughs> so <laughs> back up a little right, bit. He'll make it. Yeah. So. Okay. Okay, that's thirty. Mm -hmm. Leaping right, over here. Ricky's head. Yeah. <laughs> Ricky's reeling on the ground. He took all the healing instead of reducing shock this time. All right. Then, uh, gonna go for Jesus. Fuck. Let me go up there and get my ass kicked again. All right. <laughs> With no support. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's, oh, Bruce yeah. Jenkins, right here. Yep, that was my uh, just charge all the way across this weird room. Uh, he did it. <laughs> I got there. I did it. He got there. He got there. He made it. Slap fight with she, this tiefling. She, she can't. She can't get away from him. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna go ahead and. I got a quick turn. Five and fifteen, twenty, thirty. To here, and I'll take the dodge action. Well, 
Western. Let's see how she murders Oberon. <laughs> Almost. Like, I mean, if you look at line of sight on this, like, there's also a, another. Ele- there's also another elevation. And whatnot. Get them one in four hundred. Rolls four twenties. That'd be one in eight thousand or some shit. I guess I'll use the boot for dodging. Sure. I use the Beyblade. <laughs> so, uh, you dodge, and uh, it is uh, Vanessa's turn. Okay. Wait a minute. How are all of us at 22? Magic. That is, <laughs> Magic. That is crazy. Because, like because, because, Taurine, because, because Taurine goes on 22, and Taurine is mag- managing all your health. That's all. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Makes sense to me. Acceptable. Um, <laughs> and we all have similar hit points, and we all keep taking similar damage. Quick, we need to stab Harrison. <laughs> Bring him down to 22. <laughs> right, yeah. One of us. At 22 Club. One of us. All right, how's this lady kill Oberon? Yeah, uh, she's mm-hmm. going to find out. Um, mm-hmm. 18. Oh, yeah, that is. No sneak attack. I was going to say, how's she getting sneak attack? Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's like, um, <laughs> scratches however, your pay job. Uh, however, uh, yeah, she scratches you for. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, th- uh, this is. No, she does more than scratch you. This, is, uh, this attack does not have. She does not have everything built into it. Uh, that is actually seven points of damage. There you go. Hmm. Uh, like, and 10 d 10 poison damage. Yeah, it's actually 30 <laughs> damage. Yeah. No, just seven. It's seven damage. Uh, I'll take seven, piercing. Uh, seven piercing. Seven um, piercing. As she attacks, um, the way that she attacks you in, you're kind of still in the defensive, and she kind of like uh, builds that, or the way she attacks into the way that she moves, so she's able to move away from you without invoking attack opportunity. Um, uh, running back over to here. No. Running back over to Running back. You could say she's mobile. Oh. Yep, right. she's mobile. Oh, indeed, that? you could. <laughs> uh, I didn't. Um, and uh, she will uh, attack. She will uh, shoot at you with her Punisher. Get wrecked. <laughs> Does the that 16 just... count? No. It's just oh, okay. it's just six. Uh, she doesn't okay. have advantage, so that's that, that's just a sneak attack that she can't get. Uh, it's also not adding in her decks, though. Uh, yeah, that is true. Well, neither of these have her decks. She doesn't need dexterity. She does not. <laughs> Sounds like a gun thing. Guns don't get dexterity. <laughs> I played D twenty modern. Uh, some of them don't. Uh, this one does. So that'll be um ten points of piercing damage. She has a plus four dex. She does. Okay. This must be the giant wheel that needs to be turned to open the main door. Mm-hmm. You also see a hole next to this giant wheel as well on this floor. Looks like it was like picked open. You can see uh, a couple of like uh, picks laying around to the side. Um, as well as like a, a wooden shelf. Uh, looks like it was hammered into the side of the wall. But nothing's on the shelf. Neat. Is it Ricky's uh, turn? Yep. Ricky will stand up and be woozy for this turn. And let his uh, points of shot go. He's gonna stand up and uh, take the dodge action. Cause it sounds good. good. Yeah, just, just sh- shakes it off a bit. Torin, yeah. here you go. Torin. Well, she's gonna step up here, and uh, as a bonus action, she's gonna send some blood over to Ober. Two D six plus five. I don't know if I have a macro for this. So I keep manually rolling it. Obru regain eleven hit points. And then, uh, 
Can I see her on the other side of this, or is this wheel? Is this wheel like waist height, or is it like head height, or what? Uh, you can see her. There's there's some cover happening there. However, okay. I, would say. I don't mm-hmm. care about cover mm-hmm. because I'm going to use my favorite cantrip thus far: the black blood resonance, because I can feel mm-hmm. the wounded blood in her. And I make it necrotic, and it attacks her soul somehow. Because that's the only way I can explain a wisdom saving throw. Hmm. Well, this makes sense to me. Right. Take thirteen yeah. necrotic, hun. Uh, yes, indeed. Um, and is this like a drop off right here? Uh, after that, after she she kind of drops down to one knee. Um, uh, it looks like she's definitely uh, at the very uh, on the very edge of uh, life and uh, on the edge of death here. As she as she drops down, she just looks uh kind of looks forward and says. If you're expecting me to surrender, forget it. <laughs> Is this a drop off down here? Uh, I just laugh at her. I don't care what she says. I don't, I, uh, is that, oh. Basically, I'm asking if this little spot right here is uh, like lifted up and I can get down here and hide behind yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, I think that's true. Yep. Mm hmm. Because yeah, I have 10 feet of movement and I want to get down here just so yeah. I can like crouch down behind this wall and not be shot at. Um, you know what this is? I, I think uh, this is actually like a like a stone like uh, storage area, which you can you can run, run into. Cool. That's what I'm doing. That way she can't mm-hmm. shoot at me because I need to maintain mm-hmm. concentration on this if we all want to be at full health after this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And like on the far side of this, there's like uh, some like... Uh, cans and a few uh um like 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 uh things to carry um uh, barrels and the like cool i will hang out straps i'll hang out in the pantry bunch of straps and stuff like that hanging down and i'll shout back to to alex that way we've got her on the ropes if you want to finish her off oh bro try not to die I'm my damnedest. Uh, Doctor Doom. Dun dun dun. Doctor Doom token. I uh, can I see her? Is it too far up? Probably too far up, especially with this thing here, right? Thing in the middle. Stairs and wheel. You can see her. It's only five feet of stairs. You can see her. Okay. Uh, You don't have like the best like shot. Yeah, it's. Cover at least. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it might be plus five cover here. Three fourths cover. I hit it with the rough mix. <laughs> nice wisdom save, gang. Rise up. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't care about no cover. Suck it, Marshals. It's a caster's world, and you're just living in it. <laughs> uh, wisdom save with her flat zero. She is agile, but not wise. Damage on it. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, well, how do you how do you psychically mock her? By the way, what do you do for that? Are you just like play? Do you just like play the guitar, or what do you do? Yeah, I'm playing. I'm strumming the guitar, but it's like a. It just doesn't sound good. Yeah, I think it's like discordant, discordant metal notes. It's like the, I'm working on like, it. Ah. Yeah, she put like puts her like uh, yeah. The the sound focuses in on her. You can see uh, the air almost reverbing around her head as she puts her, her hands up to her head and uh, and just lets out a, a an ah! scream and then just drops flat. Just out. Just can't take it. Well, can't I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> I'm better on stage. <laughs> oh yeah, I wasn't dodging anymore. Yeah, with uh, with her uh, dropped, um, glancing around. You yes. don't see any. You don't see anything oh. that obvious that seems to be uh, threatening you. Right. There's a door right there. I tell everyone to gather up before we move forward so I can uh, yeah. share the blood with thee. So my Oy. cup runneth over. Um, Who wants the first hit? I got uh, hmm. seven more of these in the tank. <laughs> yes. Obru's right there. He gets the yeah. first hit. Obru gained 12 more. 
I'm going to give myself one. I also gained 12. Who wants the next one? Me. Obru gets the next one. <laughs> so that's three of seven. Obru, you gained 14. Uh, nine. Ricky's like, uh, <laughs> he basically watches Obru come back to life. He's like, I guess I'll take some of that blood. <laughs> Ricky gains 10. And he shrugs at Alexander and says, not, not as uh, weird as I thought it'd be. And he takes another one. Ba, 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 ba. Seems pretty weird. I don't know. <laughs> Well, I mean, he's healing. He's not, yeah, yeah, for sure, not for sure. being weird on him. Yeah. He goes, Alexander, would it's you like up. a hit? It's third level spells, boys. Welcome to life. I'll be okay. I'll be all right for now. I'm still yeah. pretty healthy. Uh, all right, then. Then I'll hit Ricky and myself for two more, and that'll put us at max because I can't roll lower than that. In the yeah. meantime, while that's going on, I'm gonna I'm gonna walk up here and uh, remove her weapons. I know she's out. Yeah, yeah, she has uh she has a nice um uh a nice um uh short sword uh kind of slightly curved with uh, a uh, butterfly motif uh or kind of a uh, coloration is kind of a. Uh, uh, Red, blue, purple on the on the hilt, the motif, and um, and uh, she also has a um, a pistol, basically, right? It doesn't look quite like it does on the uh, picture, but uh, um, it it um, it does have a little bit. Oh, let me look at this picture again here. Um, see how close it actually is, if I can. Click on it. There we go. Um, so basically, where the uh, the silencer is on this gun, right? Um, that area is is actually enlarged rather than narrowed. So um, whereas it's about kind of uh, maybe a slightly larger uh, than that, and then at the far end, it's uh, it's enlarged uh, a bit, and there's a um, mechanism uh, that. Uh, um, you saw it out when she was using it. The, the the pistol was like moving on its own somehow, um, uh, like it was like turning in some strange way. It's a loudenser instead of a silencer. Yeah, it's a loudenser. It was not quiet. Uh, I mean, <laughs> um, no. and, but neither was it like a a. Uh, um, but it was more like an energy uh, sound than. So, so it would be quieter than than uh, your you know, uh, modern day pistol or whatnot. Um, it was kind of a uh, kind of a, a sound of just like a, tss. and then you know, then, and then suddenly there's there's a uh, a projectile, and then you saw something kind of in the larger part like turning and like moving on its own. Yeah, I just I just take everything that I believe is this this thing is strange to me, but. I know it's a weapon, so I'll take it with her yeah. dagger. It's got to yeah. be valuable for sure. Is yeah, she wearing like that. like normal armor, or is this fucking some kind of weird hex tech <laughs> fucking armor too? Yeah, looking at the armor, um, it, it does it doesn't look quite normal. No, uh, you're, it looks like it must be some sort of hex corporate style armor. Um, uh, yeah, it's kind of. Uh, I mean, kind of has the look of maybe kind of like a, a half plate ish kind of look to it, but uh, but maybe a little lighter than half plate is normally. You're not really sure. Yeah. Do I believe she's dead or is she bleeding out? Um, she. I would say that. Uh, after all that time, after all that time, she she is she is on the edge of consciousness right now. Well, she just got mocked to death. I mean, yeah, so. exactly, <laughs> got mocked to death. Yeah, she's she's not dead. Uh, basically, yeah. 
to, as you're taking stuff off, it looks like she could. God, yeah, she, maybe yeah. as you're like stripping stuff off of her, she's like starting to wake up. We'll say. Okay. I'll uh. I'll whack her upside the head, but non lethally keep her knocked out. Sure. She's like she's, a, she's like kind of like kind of like shaking her head a little bit, and then she'll whack her right in the face, and she drops back out. Brain damage activate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Concussion <laughs> mode activate. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That that half plate sounds good. <laughs> sure. Alexander just tells you, keep it decent. Wow. (laughs) He doesn't know you. (laughs) He don't know you. If he did, he'd probably say the same fucking thing. Well, we're not here to (laughs) capture anybody or anything. We're just here for an item, right? I will remind everyone that our payday comes from what we can take off of these people. Yeah, they said they would have all sorts of toys, basically. Uh, mm-hmm. it's, 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 yeah, they're Blackfire Hex Corporate. They have all the things. He just told you to keep it decent. Don't, yeah. don't do anything mm-hmm. foolish. Yeah. Uh, crazy. Then, yeah. There. So you start stripping her down with the armor. Absolutely. <laughs> wow. Way to put it. <laughs> of the armor. <laughs> Oprah's like, over sort of sure thing, boss. This is the most up. awkward shooting we have ever had. Like, how is, like, well, why? It, it, he should have just killed her and it would have been fine. Alexander here from behind. God, you're adorable. <laughs> That's our problem. Then, Everybody then keeps trying only, to play good guys in this game. When... Then you only be doing it to a dead body. <sighs> That's, That's not so bad. bad. <laughs> a little necrophilia. Not ever, a not body. So Morally, it can't be as bad. <laughs> all right, doing all the shenanigans. I yeah, get my, the stuff. Worth the thing. I pull out my little vampire stone glyph and whisper its command word to get a third level slot back. Uh, I, and okay, then. Oh, no problem. I was gonna say, if nobody's taking that armor, I was because I need the money because I'm broke. Oh, I thought Ober took it. Yeah. Okay. I was making doubly damn sure. I was monitoring the looting. I was like, take it. Mm-hmm. Don't leave shit here. Yep, yep, yep. So it seems we have one more of these rooms to clear out. Looks like it. Um, I guess if, perception or some shit at the door. Where are you at? Uh, yeah, I before you, um, yeah, go ahead and give me, give me a perception roll. Oh, you're at a whole different door. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, it's, go back up it's a bit one. shit. Probably not the best person to be doing this, but whatever. Hey, yeah, hey yeah. it's not bad. Yeah, I know. Uh huh. Twenty-two. Uh, lucky. I've been rolling like shit all night, so hey, there we go. Uh, Probably a worthless yeah. trick. So uh, yeah, looking at the uh, uh, the door here, uh, you notice it doesn't have the um, the same kind of uh, plate that the other one had. Uh, instead, it's just flat stone there, um, and then there's a um, uh, a kind of uh, what looks like maybe like a circular handle with some bars on it, like a turn style handle, um, uh, kind of kind of in the, near the side of the door. Like combination lock? Looks like you just grab it. You don't see a place to put it in a combination. Just like a like kind of a turn handle, maybe. But it looks like it might rotate fully. Uh-huh. It's a, a door with a handle. Activate. Yeah. yeah. So you grab it and start uh kind of wheeling. The door opens slowly. It's kind of like grinds open, like you're kind of like turning on a wheels and it's a big heavy stone door. Um uh, can uh, we, uh, like I'll start motioning people to like be able to like to fire. Oh, I'm in the way. Never mind. If, uh, if, you get the if feeling, there's an ambush get, behind this door, I'm fucked. You get the feeling like there. You get the feeling like there's not just by like the amount of like dust and the like that's kind of just uh, kind of covering everything and kind of a just a stale kind of unused air mm. kind, of, kind of comes out of here. Um, 
as uh, it appears to be a bunch of um, uh, tools and things like that as you like peek in and look at the shelves of like kind of a big storage area in here. Um, or it's also machinery and uh, little like pieces of machinery it looks like in some cases and gears and things like that. And I'll chime in and say there's also a pantry over here. And Ricky goes, I'm on it and starts rifling through cans and shit. Yeah. Not uh, not that much in there, like I said, uh, but uh, a lot more in the other place. Ricky steps out. It's a bunch of garbage. Nothing worth any money. Um, I guess while they're investigating that, uh, I'm going to investigate this robot. I wonder if like, there's any other doors or yeah, go ahead and give me a uh, yeah investigation roll, I suppose. Nope, I'm not. I'm. It's a robot. What, what were you it's... looking for anyway? Come well, on. I was seeing like how it worked because he he's never seen anything oh, like yeah. this before. Uh, yeah, he he certainly has not, and uh, it he has no idea how this thing works. I mean, luckily this is like right by the elevator, so we can just get some goons to drag these robots out wholesale. Yeah, you have a couple of goons that are waiting out in the hallway. Yeah, but we're going to wait till we clear all this shit. Well, I mean, are there any other doors? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's one to the oh. south, which probably mirrors oh, this okay. and has our other tourney wheel, which was the only intel we had about this door, which I'm assuming the tourney wheel opens this big giant door right here. Yeah, you got to put them both together. Yeah. I guess do some... Well, let's peek in here real quick. Look yeah, in I here. Like I like that idea. Yeah, look around in here. Seriously. While you're doing that, I'll talk to Mr. Newman while you do that. Mm-hmm. So what's yeah, your you... story? You can go ahead with the description of that room. Uh, I'll let you talk for a second if you want to talk. <laughs> no. So what's your story? Same as everybody else's, I suppose. Down here to... Make some dough. Some of us are on that same track, but not all of us. It seems we have a a few eclectic, different opinions in our small group here. Hmm. Rifling through this uh, room over you... uh... Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, a lot of um, uh, tools, a lot of like, there's pieces of like gears and kind of like pulley pieces and um, chains and uh, uh, a lot of that kind of stuff uh, is here. Um, um, yeah, spare parts, you these long like bars and um, yeah, a lot of stuff to, to, to kind of like fiddle with like kind of big machinery. Okay. Seems to be the purpose of this uh, area. Right. Um, it doesn't look particularly valuable, but if any of that right. seems useful to you, you could gather it. I mean, like, like Technoman stuff or something. Yeah, and if you ever need to, like, construct anything significant or whatever, <laughs> to, uh, then. <laughs> Uh, if you want your own like big moving doors like back at your place you know where to go to get some of the stuff right (laughs) door tech huh i assume we were going to be here door tech yeah door tech that's a conversation for an entirely different campaign we've reached out (laughs) no that's this campaign that's this campaign for like the whole session (laughs) again and again Yeah, Tareen's kind of looking up there and is like, oh, I'm not too keen on leaving someone who live who's seen my face. Seems like it could lead problems down the road. That's why we're best. Indeed. And perhaps I should adopt a similar tactic. She's just kind of lingering up there, but it uh, doesn't go up there or anything like that. She's kind of looking around, side eye and Obru and Ricky and all that. Mm-hmm. Yep. She's going to saunter off down here. Yeah, heading down to the other door. Sure. 
You guys um, see like a, a quick flash of light as you. I'm gonna use my healing hands ability on myself. Mm-hmm. Shazam! Heals them hands. So I could have helped you with that. I mean, if you figure out what it was, all you saw was like a quick flash of light. Oh well. No spell. No spell was cast. I don't know. Go over. Not. Mm-hmm. Thought you were striking a match. Never mind. Did we? I don't remember taking anything off this guy. I don't have it written down. Did any of you take anything off him? We had, we immediately got ambushed by the lady up top before yeah. we could loot this guy too. All right, I guess we'll quickly loot him. Yeah, I think you looked at him uh, with stuff, but uh, yeah. I know he was um, wearing like some kind of heavy armor blend. or something. Yeah, it's kind of like split mail, basically. Um, it's again kind of a. Um, Looks uh again kind of a stylized kind of uh split mail, if you will, is what he was wearing. Obviously, um kind of, of the Blackfire Hex corporate style that you're kind of seeing between the two of them. Kind of this dark split mail. Kind of custom uh, make. I guess I'll just take whatever he's got on him. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give uh yeah um he doesn't have a, 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 a anything that fantastic on him uh he has some um, uh, uh he has uh, two healing potions it looks like by the look of them um on top of normal kind of gear and a pouch oh by the way she had a pouch of coin on her too um he has uh he has um he had uh, uh fifty gold pieces on him and uh, she had a hundred gold pieces on her. Oh yeah, making money. I assume someone else is writing this stuff down because they're the ones looting the bodies. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll take one of the healing potions and put it in my pocket. Uh, mm-hmm. then I'll toss everything else to, except for the the weapons there. Uh, because they're light, I can still carry them. But the armor and stuff, I'll I'll toss towards the door. And mm-hmm. I'll toss the two pouches of gold towards Obru. Okay. Well, I thought Obru got the hundred gold pouch. Okay. Well, then. Because that was on the. Or oh, wait a minute! You also looted the chair. Yeah, here, right? yeah, I looted her first. I just uh, left okay. you the ammo. Mm-hmm. That's okay, all you it. have. You have it now. You have it now. Yeah, it doesn't that's... matter. We can just start us a pile by the elevator. Du- duping gold over there. <laughs> Duping it up in gold pieces. It's well uh, duping I, for two years straight. I, I I'm the duping one with her since armor. Since 1998. So. <laughs> Do any of you want this healing potion? Uh, so I did break up with sweat. So. <laughs> I have one, so I'm, I'm good. If no one will take it, I'll take it. Well, I think uh, Piano Man just stepped up. No, it's kidding. Just, uh, it showed up at the... Just like a blister showed up after all the work is done. <laughs> Wait a minute. He got, he got final final kill. Yeah, in, yeah in, that's in, true. In, 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 dra- like, in dramatic fashion. Sprinkled six damage on that lady and was like, all right. <laughs> Feel Easy like fight, guys. It took you out so <laughs> In a very dramatic way. Like, no yeah. shot <laughs> Badly played a guitar and did six damage. <laughs> <laughs> That's called final kill. All oh, man. Just walked up and was like... <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, hold up. Hold on, hold on. I gotta tune it. Hold on. Hold on, I'm getting some feedback. Hold on. And six damage. Got it. Easy. Okay. Easy um, clap. Easy so clap. it was uh, Torian that took you want, the potion. You you want the weapons yeah, though? He said, "Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I can carry uh, that." Yeah, uh, let's see here. Uh, just long sword and um, uh, long sword. Uh, there's a shield and um, five daggers. Heavy crossbow.
Oh, I meant I meant the strange weapons I picked the up. Fancy off. I think you called there. Oh yeah, okay. I thought you were asking oh. about this guy. I'll take those stuff and I'll toss it over with the armor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you, have took, the, you have the a, the a tech Punisher and Butterfly. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So you guys are kind of glancing around. Uh, of course, you've looked down at this door. Uh, do, this door does not have one of those uh, wheel turn cranks. You can kind of see where maybe at one point it did, but like it looks like maybe the stone has like been shifted on it and or covered. Like maybe there's some work done to it somehow, perhaps magically. Um, and uh, and now it just has this like plate on the front of the door. It's kind of like metal plate. So none of these people had any keys on them. Um, no. Okay. They, yeah, they're. I mean, weapons. Uh, glancing on, you can kind of like do do an inventory if you want. Uh, it's you know, weapons and armor, um, some pouches. Um, I'm just uh, making sure it didn't have uh, any weird keys uh, to this door. Yeah. That's all I was yeah. worried about. Are no. they trying to figure out how to open this thing too? Just no, uh, the other door had a similar glyph on it, didn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, it played on both sides of the other door, um, and uh, but no handle, but just two plates. Yeah, no handle, uh, uh, two plates, um, and uh, yeah. Um, as you guys kind of take a. Uh, a breather, just kind of looking at here, just kind of looking at this time. We'll say about this time, the uh, door suddenly just closes on its own. Okay. What well, does it like slide into the floor or the ceiling or the wall or something? Yeah, it slides into the wall and then slides out of the wall. Okay. Mm-hmm. The uh, the one that he turned did the same thing. Does he had to like physically like turn it and basically it would only go up to where the handle was, not okay. like open completely. So. Um, yeah, just the yeah, these people they yeah, they just have their kind of stylized, uh, like there's even a the wep- even the weapons are like stylized with like the black, have the, they have this black fire, uh, like this black fire, uh, hex corporate logo kind of emblazoned in on the uh, uh, the uh, the weapons, it's um, uh, which is uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of this like uh, BFC. Uh, emblazoned and uh and fire with like a hexagonal like uh um diagram around it um the same thing with the the armor has that same kind of thing kind of like this like uh, uh and like a uh, uh kind of like a badge insignia that's just like actually like just like it's like attached to the armor itself uh it's like know, a very border suave thing what's that <laughs> This is like a Borderlands thing. We're gonna have Borg and um, what were some of the other companies in that game? <laughs> I forget. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pick yeah, this. Dude. Yeah, there's there's only um, I believe there's only I mean there's only two like I believe there's only two like there's only two major hex corporates. Um, I believe. <laughs> Well, we'll just say that generally, I, I'd say generally the Blackfire Hex Corporate is the only like known, I believe, Hex Corporate. And, and all our meanderings over here, does this door just function like a Star Trek door where you walk up to it and it opens? Uh, you walk up to the door, um, it does not open for you. All right. Well, let's figure out how to open this one. And I assume the other one will open similarly. Does. I'm gonna I'm gonna pick this guy up here. Sure. Yep. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put his hand on the plate. Uh sure. As once he actually gets close to the door, as you're about to like put up the uh hand, the door opens. That makes sense. Simple enough. Throw him at the other door when we are ready. <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> oh, I was just I was just thinking Ober was gonna do that. He was just like, oh cool. <laughs> and oh, like just in. Grab body, body and toss and I put him around it. my I put him around my <laughs> neck like Jim Carrey with that Mr. Monopoly guy. <laughs> <Love>. <laughs> <laughs> All 
<laughs> Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Well, we can assume that there's another pair down here of a robot and a tiefling. Do we want to change our strategy up? It seems we continue to magnetize ourselves to these robots. Perhaps we should send one person in. And then the rest filter in so that we have ample room between us. We're just focused on the robot real quick. I mean, <laughs> Ricky's like, I mean, it's hard to punch a robot. And if we all gather up on it like we have for the past two times and it survives the onslaught, it's going to hit a bunch of us. I have a feeling it has it has the ability to hit a bunch of us no matter what. I mean, that shocky sword thing going on. That's true. I did see it shoot a lightning bolt. But uh, perhaps there is a finite distance. If we're yeah. far enough apart. Uh, you are aware there's a finite distance because it didn't tag... Uh, well, I mean, I mean, potentially there's a finite distance because it didn't tag uh, Alex on that yeah. bolt thing. Well, if someone is willing to be the one to breach the door first, I would offer a... Uh protection for the protection of the blood sure all right so are you volunteering yeah yeah all right yeah. Tareen will hold out her hand and uh, some blood will seep out of her palm into a little orb and then it'll float over to you and expand over you and it looks similar to the blood aura that surrounded her Except it gives you plus two AC. It sinks, sinks close to your skin and you have a shield of blood around you. Wonderful. So you have plus two AC. Noted. All right, let's kick this pig. Oh, also the other thing before we kick the pig, the only other thing to note about this room is that uh, this guy uh, was a bit of an artist. Uh, he's got a bunch of, there's a bunch of pictures over on the uh, table over there. Um, a lot of uh, female nudes and things like that. Mm -hmm. Are they worth any money? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> research, research purposes only. <laughs> For research purposes. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Later. Later. Uh, okay. Uh, well, anyway, uh, you uh, you holst the uh, toss the body on over here, right? Yeah. Hold check the body, the body at the door. Check the body at the door. Yeah, it seems to work pretty well. The door just opens. Um, Oh, that visual. Yep. Body, body toss and maybe body toss. Uh... Got him. You, you do not see anybody inside here. They're invisible. Shoot indiscriminately. Everybody is invisible. Um, is this like a down level or something? Like down down another like wow okay no um uh uh this is this is not down a level it's just like another uh place to like kind of uh, uh hold things oh uh, okay a shelf mm -hmm. of some kind yeah multiple shelves uh here um you can see like uh it looks to be kind of like um uh some some like uniforms and the like that are kind of just gathering dust over here. Coast seems all clear, old brew. Uh, yeah. I mean, the only thing I can think of is like pressure plates and whatnot, but I'm not terribly great at that kind of thing. I'm gonna keep some distance from old brew and just kind of look can, out over the can, room. You can spot uh, in here. Um, uh, same, similar to the last one. There's like kind of a, a shelf that has been like nailed into the uh, the wall over here, um, and. Uh, or oh, I'm sorry. No, never mind. There's no shelf here. Uh, there, um, uh, yeah, you, you make a yeah perception or investigation check. There is, however, a hole. Uh, there is a hole, um, just like there was in the last one. Um, uh, here, get it picked out. It uh, looks like they've been picked into the stone <laughs> over here. Um, feel free to make a perception roll here if you'd like. Uh, oh, there was a hole in the other one. Yep. Uh, next to the uh the this this thing. And then Whatever. Room, this picture thing. Oh wait, did you say investigation? Oh uh, no, perception's fine. Give me, you can give me invest. Uh, just, you you glance around. Um, yeah, you don't see anything uh, notable. 
Um, uh, but uh, but yeah, if you what do you want to go investigate? Good. Well, I assume if we threw the tiefling at the door, it would stay open. But uh, that Torin, is uh, you, not a bad idea. Torin, you note a little um, uh, a little something kind of on the ground over here, like if some little tiny things. Just with a sixteen, you have to spot uh, there. You're not really sure what they are, though. I point and say, "Look, tiny things, mm -hmm. shinies upon the floor." Oh no! Yeah, sure. Glance over there. Give me an investigate uh, when you do so, uh, Oprah. If you go over to that. Oh no! Just as bad. Rat droppings. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> God. PTSD, no. post-traumatic rat syndrome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they okay. do could look a little bit like rat droppings as you approach them. Uh, but when you, no but you can see that those. but you can see that's just because they've been kind of burned and there's actually like a little bit of like paper as you kind of like uh smell them. Um smell it, it it's like someone like burned uh like a, a little like cigarette or joint down to the nub, uh, mm. but like the nubbest of the nub, but like the tiniest little nub is nub. There's a bunch of little tiny like burnt out joints here. Getting high on the jab. Someone was smoking. Uh, check for warmth. <laughs> On lots of warmth everywhere, but you can give me a perception. Oh, well, I was talking about on the cigarettes. Like, how uh, Yeah, no, they look like they've been down there a while. Okay. They're not warm. <laughs> okay. This the don't extend the whole place on the is, left, does it? The whole place is warm. Uh, it extends yeah. to a another door. has, uh, again, no one those, like, wheel turns on it. Where, where's the door at? Right at the far end of this here. So, where? It's a big door. It's did you uh -huh. get that? Yeah, I, I, they're all big doors. I took this guy with us. Uh, yeah, you took him with you. Cool. Yeah, I'll put him. Yeah, so put the him door doesn't here. fuck us. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, whoops, I forgot. He's in there. Ding, 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 ding. Well, and there wasn't a matching door on in this other room to the north, was there? No, uh, they doesn't. They don't quite match. Okay. Oh, this is. This but this big door you said has a handle on it, doesn't it? Yep. Big wheel turn handle. Cool. How many, How long do we spend in here looking around? Handful of minutes. It's just been a couple minutes so far. All right. Cool. We'll say it's been two minutes. Mm -hmm. So you still have the shield of blood on you. Cool. I guess uh, everyone form up. Form up. Dum, dum, dum. Is there anything in these barrels? They're pods? Uh, the fuck they are. Uh, you glance at them, no. No, there's uh, pots or barrels and casts and the like uh, kind of all in that area. Um, some of different sizes, some small, some large, uh, and but uh, but they're all just just empty and dry. Some of them are closed, but still nothing in them. You open the barrels, and there are pots inside. Then you open those pots, <laughs> and there are barrels inside. Uh, you will open this door right over, Ariki. That right. handle's pretty big for me. If you want to get it, <laughs> yeah, over will open it up. Uh, making a way in here. Um, this is a lot of paperwork going on in this room. Uh, the, uh, the shelves and the like here have uh, have a ton of uh, of papers and that just kind of like stashed in them, gathering dust. Same kind of just a musty kind of uh, yeah old paper smell kind of coming out of this room. Uh, dust kind of everywhere. It doesn't appear to be used. What in the actual fuck? Oh, here we're here. We're here for a device. And 
Like, I mean, like, I guess I mean, there's the, the shit that was picked out around here. I just want to make sure that nothing's going to come in behind us before we decide to open this door up here. No. Uh, yeah, just a bunch of, a lot of, a lot of like papers uh, around here, folders and, and the like, uh, uh, just stocked up on these uh, shelves. Feel free to look if you wish. Let me know. We look. Sure. We wish. Take, uh, take some of them over and then kind of go through them. Um, it, yeah, it, just this, get a chance. It appears to be like accounts and ledgers for what was at one point a uh, a profitable business. Huh. Yeah. Is this office nice? Like we got dusted up. And... This office, it's very utilitarian. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's a very utilitarian thing. But you can see after if you continue to to look through them, you can see that a lot of a lot of coin uh, passed through this place once upon a time. People paid big money for the the water they had. All right, I guess it's time to investigate the holes then. Sure, they're not very big. Like I said, when you glanced down before me, you just saw like it is some like gears and machinery. Like, are are these turny things? Yeah, I guess they're open to open water gates. They, they they do very much look like big turny things. They're to open this big door. All right. Well. I guess let's get to it then. Um, I was say while they're in there, I want to cut one of this guy's fingers off because I want to see if just a finger will open the doors. Uh, yeah, you cut his finger off and yeah, put it in my pocket the, and sa- walk saunter up to the door. over the other door over there. The door does not open. Damn it! Where is head? I tried. Like, perhaps it requires the whole body. Nah, that's too laborious. Okay. That was my so experiment. Just, so just to be clear, you've taken uh, her weapons, the coin, and the potions, right? That's so far everything that's that's been taken. Yep. Yeah. All right. So I have the A Tech Punisher Butterfly. Mm-hmm. I took off the Hex Tech uh, Split Armor or the uh, the Black Fire Corporate. No, you t- the uh, the stuff she was wearing, right? Her no, no Obru o- got that. Yeah. But oh, yes. Oh, you did. Ah, okay. You did take off the the Splint Armor. I took yeah. off the Splint Armor as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, he said he put it okay. next to a door or something like that. Oh, okay. Well, we'll say then. Then you've already identified that the armor is opening up the door. Ah, hey, okay. Well, then I would. So don't, don't need the body. Finger. Don't need the body. Yep. Don't need the cop here. Mm. So we have to carry the armor with us, though. So we're not. Uh... Well, then Obru Obru had the armor with him at all times. Yeah. So yep. Obru's got the armor. Yeah. Mm. So, um, but the, splint, the other the other splint armor is over by the lift. Uh, I grabbed both healing potions. I took one, gave one to Taurine, two pouches gave one to Obru, and the other weapons are over by the lift. Well, here's here's my experiment then. I take like a small piece of the armor, like one, mm-hmm. right. one shoulder pad or whatever, and walk over the shoulder over pad the does not activate. Oh, okay. The part that has the symbol on it, the corporation symbol. Yeah, um, you kind of look at that a little closer. You can make an investigation roll here. Oh, I'm bad at those... Maybe it's just a badge. Fifteen. Yeah, uh, it's kind of it's hard to tell without actually really looking at it uh, uh, quickly. But it it does appear that um, that it is uh, detachable, even though it's kind of smooth on there. Um, and uh, yeah, you find a way to kind of like pop latch and pull this thing right off of the armor. Pop it with a dagger and take it on over there. Mm-hmm. Yep. And now you yeah, it opens right up. It opens. 
Well, all right. Nice. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna look over this desk and see if maybe this guy, whoever, whoever office dude was here, maybe had a little stash of maybe a little good of the good stuff, a little liquor. <laughs> little... Make it, make an investigation roll. Put that badge in my pocket. Fucking nope. <laughs> Jesus, uh, I'm yeah. mad at you. It also seems pretty utilitarian. and you don't you don't see uh, any liquor, unfortunately, stashed away. There'd definitely be some liquor. Did anybody investigate the pick hole by the thing? No, Ober is over there right now, though. Yeah, like because I mean, we're gonna start sure. Open make another door, investigation check there, uh, Ober. Oh yeah, I wish somebody in our party had the <laughs> skill. No, nope. <laughs> we don't need uh, it. It's ten. Worthless. Um, can we be ten... like short resting in here so I can get my? Uh, <laughs> I mean, we could. Like Worst comes to worse is up. they open that door. Up to you what you do. Um, yeah, you uh, with a ten, um, you're able to determine that it looks like um. Uh, the mechanics of uh, yeah, you're able to kind of you know, kind of confirm that this is uh, the the rotation uh, you know or uh, kind of the rotation uh, mechanism for the door, and um, which was already assumed, and you're also able to determine that uh, there was some sort of like connection um, uh, going from this mechanism uh, uh, to another place, which uh, has been looks like it's been uh, uh, removed. Um, I mean, it does connect in other places, uh, but y- your first uh, worry is that uh, maybe the, the, this has been unconnected from the door, possibly? Something has been fiddled with. I think the, these devices have been sabotaged. I don't know. I need someone else to that it was better than me. I'm pretty <clears throat> sure we all have like an intelligence penalty. Also, being over there near it, uh, you can also feel like uh, um, uh, the uh, uh, you can also feel that the, the the metal here is e- even hotter than the uh, 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 the surrounding area. Maybe carrying in some extra heat from somewhere. Hmm. I don't know, I guess uh, follow the heat or some shit. Is it coming I mean, from underneath us? or? Yeah. You I'll think start so. walking around. You, you, th- you think it's like like literally coming off of the metal, you think? Like like, mm. like the, the metal, of course, connects to, you know, uh, connects to areas underneath this and the heat is like traveling through some of the metal rods. I mean, the big, the quickest way to find out if these things have been disabled is to bring our goons down here and we prepare ourselves in front of this door. But Obru's right. We could take a short rest down here. Worst comes to worst, they open the door for us. All for easy. What was that? It's them all for easy, so... We want to do that. Let's go with me. Yeah, we can just bunch up in this uh, central chamber here and uh, take a breather. Unless anyone has any objections. But also, if we're going to do that, I suggest we bring our uh, extra tiefling down here with us, just in case she rouses again. True. Though she all not, do. Yeah, she may not be able to open that door anymore, but uh she may have other tricks up her sleeves. I don't like unknowns. Have you already asked her if she can open the door? She's a little too unconscious to answer. Well when no. she wakes and up. I, I doubt she would tell us. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, uh, quickly. How long before, like, probably this door? 
this door just got opened, right? Like when Torian was like playing yeah. around with stuff. I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. I have a badge. I will go with. Yeah. You. Uh, yeah, it's cool. open. I, because I, I shared mean, that with everybody. I say you don't need the entire suit of armor. I mean, you can just peel off the badge. Yeah, the same thing with the other piece of armor. It has a place for the uh, badge on the other suit. So there's two badges there. Yeah. Is there is there like any badge on these robots or any insignia that's the same? Um. No. No. Okay. So they can't. Eat. They'd be trapped as well without a. Yeah, yeah, interestingly, uh, it's kind of odd, actually, that uh, you know they had the uh, uh, that they don't, considering how the armor was custom fitted. But there's there's um, as you glance around it, um, yeah, make an investigation. Actually, the worry about it since you're looking for it specifically. Um, you find you do find a um, uh, a mark on it, uh, not uh, at one point, kind of like on the arm, an em- a little bit of an emblem, not, not nothing too huge, but it, it but it has this kind of stylized emblem, with, uh, which um, uh, which basically just says um, uh, which just says A Tech on it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll pick her up and bring her back to the party. I guess they're going to take a short rest. And we'll also drag this robot in here with us because we want to take both of these robots and sell them. Mm-hmm. Sure. What is it? Drag, Can I get your, a... drag your busted roboto. Yes. Mm-hmm. If we had control of the tokens. Yep, yep. Yeah. So and then we'll bring in doing a short rest unless anybody's uh, got a better idea. And if that tiefling yeah. attempts to wake up, we give her more brain damage. Wasted spell slot. <laughs> Sounds mm-hmm. good. Uh, you guys uh, can um, uh, short rest uh, yes. and regain your resources. Absolutely. Only got one thing back, I think. Yeah. Uh, second win for me. And then Ricky gets his second win and some key points and a superiority die. He was in the shit. It was exactly what I needed. Exactly the amount. Vishtara smiles upon thee. It just gives you exactly what you need. Never too much, never too little. That's right. And then, yeah. After a short rest, we just bonk around the head for good measure. And yeah. Bonk, mm-hmm. bonk, yeah. We all introduce ourselves to Harrison's character and we ask for his name. Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll introduce himself as Johnny Roulette. Johnny Roulette. And uh, he's going to use a flashy entrance to make some fireworks. He says, no. yeah. <laughs> I'll give a slight applause. Mm-hmm. Give you a golf clap. <laughs> Wait a minute, that was the second level spell? <laughs> what? He doesn't need spells. Spells are dumb. He's got vicious <laughs> mockery. He's uh-huh. got vicious mockery, man. He laid down that six damage. Mm-hmm. He didn't see how I had to look, uh, spend 50 spell slots just to keep you guys alive. Yeah, it seemed pretty <laughs> easy. So he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> six damage. What the hell? That's all I needed to kill that tiefling? Dumb. Man, yeah, you'll know my name is Tureen. Yeah, we're assuming nothing happens over the course of this rest, and no other dickholes do anything, and we get our nope. we sh- get readied up, and we bring our mm. goons to turn these knobs. Indeed, you summon the goons. Uh, when he goes up there, summons the and brings the goons back. Should we leave uh, the badges with the goons, I guess? There's your goons. I keep at least one. Just in case. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be more badges. 
Hey, boss. Where we uh, oh, we're pushing something. Yes, yeah, oh, we. Oh, we, did, we do. We do a quick test with these robots to see if their emblem or whatever keeps the door open. Oh, we already determined they don't. They don't. No. Uh, well, you test them; they don't. Um, yeah, yeah, so we just drag the robots over the door. And one of them is like, "Oh, that's a tech uh, construct. That's odd that Blackfire would have them." I think this is an ATEC facility. I love how the goons know more about the situation than we do. <laughs> Obru says he thinks this is an ATEC facility. I, the says, Black Fire. Uh, he says... Uh, broken too. Yeah. But, uh, he, sa- he says... If the drones were... I, uh, I, the- oh, no, right, no, right. Mm, I, I assumed that you'd already told the goons that you're going into a black fire, but uh, but perhaps not. If you're just going to say you're going to push a thing, that's okay. <laughs> well, I thought the the robots they'll, they'll, were dusty. As too. long as the the armor is visible, they'd be able to determine it, determine it anyway. Hold on, man. No matter what, they knew more about it than we did. But we're going to give one of them, we're going to keep one badge with us and give one of them a badge and explain that you need to let your buddy out when it's time to go because these badges are what opens these doors. Sure. Which one do you uh, give it to the We let them play rock, paper, scissors for it or whatever. Sure. They'll rock, paper, scissors for it. Uh, Top. Well, aren't there? Human will be 11 and above. Don't they have to turn them at the same time or something? Wait, that guy's gonna open the door. That this is just so they open the doors and they can get in there. Yeah, them. but there's two turnstiles. There's two dudes. Right. So, and we have two badges. Yes, and they're getting one badge. Yeah. Oh. Okay. They go down together to open the bottom door, and then the one with the yeah. badge goes up top. Yeah. So so I guess one, so. one of those uh, problems with a boat and a lamb and a wolf yeah. and grain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, all right, yeah, uh, Jarak will take the uh, badge, I guess. If they, they yeah, just... These are my most trusted guys. <laughs> Aside from Bulgar. <laughs> all right, let's kick this off. Oh, was it Ricky that uh, supplied the, the goons? I had assumed, especially because Bulgar was with us last week. Hmm. I just decided to skip the hiring phase and say Ricky brought goons with him. Okay. Uh, from uh, from and then from within uh, the uh, from from within your gang, then. I, don't, I mean, if you already got two dudes down here, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Hmm. We just got them. We got goons. We got dudes. Blackjack gave them to us. Cool. We all look the same. It's not important, Ricky. Yeah, I, I had I had thought that uh, the Elbru was doing it, but uh, Ricky could yeah. have. Yeah, it looks like Elbru, yeah, Elbru yeah. or Ricky. Like there ain't no tieflings. I, it doesn't like. like I mean, as long as it's not Blackjack. <laughs> yeah. far, right, well, there's too we'll much say, Blackjack yeah. here already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We'll say Elbru, one too uh, much. We'll say Elbru did it. The pandy. Oh. Obru did it. I don't care who did it. Turn these damn doors. doors, yeah. <laughs> uh, damn yep. it. <laughs> Harrison, that's the thumbnail. You need the Toby Maguire. Just open this damn door. Mm-hmm. <laughs> God, it's another door episode. Yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Turn the fucking yep. wheels, boys. Let's kick this All pig. Right. You send them in there and uh and with that, uh well they both go in there. Uh they detonate both those wheels and die. <laughs> I'm glad they're your goons now, not mine. Yeah, I mean, I only rolled a 10 on the investigation. They could have just planted explosives in there. Yep. <laughs> uh, there's actually a fair amount of waiting. You're like, come on. Who has the badge on our yet? team? Just so we... Me. Know. Up here. I've got uh, Yeah, I've got it. And then... Oh, oh here I come the other time. Oh, here. 
All right, Obru, you're the badge master, badge lord. Yeah, I'm gonna go check on things. Um, After like, I don't know, a minute or some shit, I'll be like, I, I, I would say it's it's probably about it's pretty close to that. Like you're about to go do it. Like it's like fifty yeah, seconds. Like, these first just yeah, sticking around. Yeah, just... yeah, like it's it's <laughs> taken. Uh, yeah, you're like, what the hell? And then all of a sudden. It begins. The, uh, the oh, doors okay. start slowly, <laughs> slowly opening uh, here from one uh, from one side, and then um, as it slowly opens, you can see another. Um, uh, you can you can see another door on the other side moving in the opposite direction um, as it slowly, uh, slowly, slowly opens. Um, eventually, gets to the middle. You can start to see. Uh, beyond it, um, and um, uh, uh, and as, as what formation as, as are as we opens, in, boys? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, yeah, sure, go ahead and put yourself in that, in that formation if you if you would. Why not, Ricky? Mm-hmm. As happy where I was, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, stick me wherever. Yeah, I was thinking like. I don't want to be exactly next to everybody, I guess, just in case right. there's some fuckery. I'll be back a step. And is there cover? <laughs> but Ricky has balls, so. Um. Does that look uh, good for you guys? Good for me. Then we all die. Yeah. I mean, I was asking about cover, but all right, let's just do this. Uh, yeah, is there cover? Yes. Um, this is cover here. Uh, These little corner walls. Cor- corner walls are like cover. Oh, I would okay. say. Uh, mm-hmm. I would say those are uh, cover. Uh, and then how much do these doors open? Bruce <laughs> like, like standing there defiant, resolute, and then he's like, oh shit, doors are opening. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, you're not sure how how much they're going to open. Yeah, you're not you're not sure on. Oh no, on there's that. a fucking big ass flame cannon gonna <laughs> spew <laughs> down this corridor. Yeah, this is just like a dwarf fortress trap where it's like, oh yeah, you put the people you're trying to kill in the middle chamber, and then you turn <laughs> the wheels, and the lava gate opens. <laughs> <laughs> nailed uh, it. Yeah, definitely, definitely uh, nailed it. That's exactly uh, what happens. Campaign uh, over. Okay. Uh, because as you open these doors and the room comes into view, um, uh, you see, uh, you he- you feel a sudden uh, rush of hot air um, blasting out uh, into this area. Um, it's yeah, I just it's it, it's it's hot. The, the next room in there, uh, as it kind of comes into view, you see uh, the red light of what is uh, lava, as mentioned, uh, in the next room, just uh, just just there. Um, you're right. <laughs> says we die. You were right. <laughs> 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 you were right. Um, yeah. So as the uh, the hot air burns uh, your face, you kind of put your hands up um, you, and look through, and you kind of adjust to the heat. Um, you can see uh, uh, that in the center, um, you know, the, there's kind of a drop down to where the lava is, and in the center is a. Um, uh, uh, what appears to be a um, uh, kind of a circular uh, structure that uh, has some like um, uh, uh, has looks like it has some handles on the side, um, as well as like some like chains and locks. And there's also some chains kind of like hanging down uh, from the ceiling, um, and it appears to be uh, that there are like some uh, uh, people kind of like strung up on uh, those chains and. Uh, kind of just hanging uh, from the from the ceiling in this next room. Um, as you kind of like take in what the fuck you're looking at, uh, we'll just go ahead and end there and find out next time, I guess. So is that wheel on the ceiling? No, it's uh, on the ground. Okay, that's why you, I thought it was like a 
like one of those chandelier. <laughs> one of those things that you hang in a baby's cradle, but like bo- bodies hanging from it. I forget what that's called. Uh, uh, what is that called? Uh, mobile. Mobile? Uh, mobile. Mobile. Yeah, mobile. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what I, that's that'd, what I that'd, thought when you were like, be pretty yeah, creepy. Yeah. Hanging from chains. Uh, that, that would be yeah, pretty creepy. Yeah, very, very uh, creepy mobile. mobile. So the chain uh, bodies are above. Mobile. They're just attached yeah. to the ceiling. Yeah, just hanging out. They're above this wheelie uh, juice. Yeah, we'll, we'll get more uh, about the, the goodness in this room next time. Wee. I gotta go. Take it easy, y'all. Yeah. Until next time. Have a good one, brother.